Hey people, this is Wii187, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. In the last part, we finished the Scourge Challenge, and then we kind of just ended it off because uh, we were, you know, running out of time and stuff. But we still have the Bean Bonus Room thing to do, since we did get all ten Challenge Stars, we get to go to the Bean Bonus Room. Um, well, no, it's more like if, if you're in the lead. In, in the third game, if you're in the lead with the House Point Ceremony thing, then uh, it doesn't matter. But in this game... Uh, if you're in the, oh, wrong way. If you're in the lead here, then you can go to the bean bonus room. Uh, I just, I don't think that the, the, that's the Rick to Semper challenge. Come on. Don't be that stupid. Oh, uh, yeah, go over here. I don't know why it doesn't load the music here. That's really weird. But, you know, it doesn't matter. And the mouse is all laggy and stuff. I'm not used to recording this. It's been a little while. Looks like it's time for another house point ceremony. Cool. Let's see which house is ahead this week. I assume we are. Yeah, 365. Mm. Nice. It appears that Gryffindor is in the lead. Harry, it looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. We're, uh, it, we're like a, a whole hundred points ahead of everyone else, which is awesome. That means we get a lot of time, because the higher the differences between you and the next house, which is usually Slytherin, because the game makes it that way, uh, you have um, more time to collect beans, which is awesome. So, uh, now we have Scourge, we can do that there. Which is awesome, we have a whole new area of stuff here. Uh, still, don't go for the chests, I wouldn't bother with them, but, you know, it, it's cool. We have more beans to collect, and I'm just going to go around in a circle here, and then go back into the main area. Uh, and then, you know, that, that'll be that. Uh, Alright, there we go, now let's go over here. Yeah, we want as many beans as we can get still, because um, we still have that thing. To, uh, we have the Nimbus 2001 I want to buy from Fred and George. Oh, that doesn't, I'm not going to bother with those beans. Okay. I don't really have a plan for how I'm going to go about doing this. I'm just sort of collecting as many beans as I can. The bean bonus room in the third Harry Potter game is actually really cool. It's like, it's a bit, well, I wouldn't say it's bigger, but it's indoor. And, um, it, I don't know, it, it seems cooler. And the music is maybe, I guess, no, the music it, it might be the same. I don't remember. Um, but, you know, still, it's, it, I like it a lot. Oh, uh, yeah, we can go over here, collect these beans. We can't really do anything with the branches there. We don't have the spell for that yet, but... We can get those beans there, and go back. Oh my god, we're already running out of time. We didn't get that many beans this time, did we? Oh well, you know, it doesn't really matter, but... Uh, you know, just go over here. I'm just gonna get the beans around here, in the lap. Uh, that's really all the beans we can get, but still. It, it's, it's better than nothing. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and do that. You know, nothing better to do. But see, they launched the beans so far away, like, how are you supposed to be able to collect that in time? So, it, it's stupid, but... You know, what can you do? Anyway, how has your day been today? Uh, it's been an okay day for Harry, me, I guess. I want to investigate the scene of the crime. Filch usually guards the hallway where his cat was petrified, but he's away, so now is our chance. Alright, sounds good. Yeah, I don't know, my... it's, it's been okay. Um... Do you really think there's a I slept until like 11. I believe Flitwick's story, even if he doesn't. And Dumbledore himself couldn't cure Mrs. Norris. I think that whatever attacked her might not be human. Oh, okay. Here we are, at the scene of the crime. It can't hurt to look around, since we're already here, and Filch isn't. That's true. Remember all the water that was on the floor? Where had it come from? From in there. Let's have a look. I Whoa, I don't even know if you there. heard that, but that was like a growl burp. Wow. Oh, Ron, there won't be anyone in here. This is Moaning Myrtle's place. Oh, yeah, Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. She haunts one of the toilets. It's been out of order all year because she keeps having tantrums and flooding the place. <laughs> I wish people would stop talking about me behind my back. I don't like her animation in the game. It's really kind of weird. It's like not identical at all. Frighten all the non-magical folk out of Hogwarts. Draco Malfoy. You heard him call Hermione a mudblood. But how do we prove it's him? <laughs> We'd Just... need to sneak into the Slytherin common room and ask Malfoy a few questions without him realizing it's us. <laughs> <laughs> but that's impossible! All we need would be some Polyjuice Potion. It transforms you into somebody else. We could change Harry into a Slytherin. No one would realize it was really Harry. Why me? Why not Ron? The ingredients are a bit tricky, I'm afraid. Powdered by Cornhorn and shredded Boomslang skin. Harry, I'll need you to get me some. Any idea where I can find some? There's some bicorn horn in Snape's storage room. Okay. I'm not sure about the shredded boom slang skin. I'll need to check at the library. Lovely. Molting boom slangs and corridors full of goo. <laughs> this should be enjoyable. So yeah, this is our next dungeon. We have to go into Snape's storage room, which is actually an entire level, which is kind of 
weird, but, you know, I I'll go with it, you know. Uh, so, yeah, it just teleports us right here. Anyway, yeah, my day was okay. I woke up at, like, 11, and then I woke up to find that my computer can't connect to the internet, and it still can't connect right now, which is sort of annoying me, but, um, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm trying to fix it. You know, everything is breaking down, like, you know, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, I thought I got it fixed, and then it was like, nope. So, uh... I don't know what to do about that. I'm still trying to fix that. I mean, I can record it now. It's just really... It's annoying a bit, you know, to have it not work the way I want it. Like, slow load times, I have to cut it out and everything. It's just... Ah, you know? Um, and then, you know, I can't connect to the internet now, uh, except on my iPad, but, you know, it's kind of tough to do anything good on there. I can't upload from there or anything. Uh, so, you know... It's just kind of annoying, so I thought, you know, right now no one's home, I'm just going to record, and, you know, it'll keep my mind off the bleh that's been all day today. Uh, it, it's not too bad, though. I'm probably going to... I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I, I can record some FF12, probably, as well, but, you know, I figured I may as well just get started on this, because, you know, this is kind of easy to record, and I don't need the internet for it. So, anyway, you want to go in here. And, uh, yeah, but I do have, uh, it's probably up by now, because I'm going to upload this after the Kingdom Hearts video, but I did uh, I did do a co-commentary with Alfox 13th on that, and it went, uh, pretty well, pretty well, even though the load times were a bit crap. Uh, you get to see firsthand what I'm dealing with these, with these problems there, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, uh, can you do anything there? No? Okay, I wasn't sure, I don't remember. There's these spiders, they're so annoying, just step on them. You're gonna be seeing them a lot, like throughout the game, and it's like, ah, but you know, whatever. Flipendo, yeah, just flipendo these, and that's gonna make this thing come down. I think, yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, I, I really like this, uh, th this whole area here, this this whole dungeon. It's, it's not too hard, but it's not too easy. It's a good challenge. Um, sort of, it's it's more fun than a lot of the spell challenges, actually. You want to go over here? Okay, good. I was afraid I was gonna miss that, but we got it. Uh, this gives you a chocolate frog. Cool. I did not need that. I don't know what this gives us. Another chocolate frog. Great. All right. That was entirely pointless. Uh, I, I remember when I was like practicing, I was supposed to remember that. What is that up there? I was, I was supposed to remember that. Like, oh, don't go in there because that's only chocolate frogs, and then I forgot. Whoa. Hello. Uh, we'll get that first. All right. Yeah, I was playing Harry Potter on uh, the Harry Potter on the Prisoner of Azkaban for the PS2. And that game is hard. Like, I, I know I played it when I was really little too, but like, I don't remember it being as hard as, it, as like I'm having with it now. Um, but yeah, I guess it's a little bit harder than I remember. All right, can I? No, I can't do that now. Anyway, the Lumos thing makes it so you don't have to worry about the gaps in the stairs. You can just go down the stairs like normal. Just be sure to scourge things. Uh, pixie. Yeah, I like the pixies. They're cool. They're so easy too. They're they're a bit more annoying in the Harry Potter uh, PS2 game for the, the third one. It's they're they're annoying. They're hard because you have to hit them twice, and it's like, geez. I mean, it's not as hard as like your average game, but for a Harry Potter game, you expect it to be easy. Um, but no, it's like actually somewhat challenging. And I was like, whoa. But you know, it doesn't matter. Um, nothing here. I swear, one of these are Alohomorable. Oh, this thing. Yeah. Okay. And that opens up. It's a bit slow, but it, it it does. And then you can go in here. And we get a silver wizard card. I'm not sure how many that puts us at, but, you know, I'll take it. Oh, a bronze one. Cool. But let's see. Where are we at with that? Uh, 15 out of 50 and 9 out of 40. Okay, one more silver wizard card and we get our first key uh, out of the four there. So that's good. That's very, very good. Uh, hello there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to rip some for you and stick you in there. And squeak. Alright. I don't... Um... Okay. Oh, crap. It's in the way. There we go. There we go. Alright, and now what you want to do is fire crabs come out here. And they are just as... They're a little more annoying, actually, because... Alright, there we go. We got it. Because, you know, you can't really hit through the thing. Alright, there we go. Because, you know, the metal makes it really annoying to hit through. So, yeah, just get them in there. And they can still shoot at you after you've gotten them in the cage. So, it's, you know, just be wary of that. See, that one's probably already back up. Yeah. Alright. Let's just push it over to that side a bit. Okay, cool. 
Yeah, so sometimes it, it won't go through the metal, which is really annoying. I don't know why, but, you know, oh well. Um, Alright, now they're both in. That's good. That's very good. I'm not sure what time am I at. I started... Whoa! I thought I put you... Jeez! Get in there! Oh, <laughs> uh, let's do most of that. I don't care about the cauldron over there really that much, but... Yeah. Oh, here's more. Oh, yeah. Derp -a -derp. Uh, I can't get that one. Oh, well. Uh, okay. Alright. And yeah, this thing over here just creates an extra platform that you can jump on, so... Uh, so you can get over here. Um, so yeah, not much else is going on with me, really. It's kind of a slow day. The, the whole week has been kind of slow, apart from yesterday where I got to go to, uh, John's house. But that was, like, the one interesting thing that I did in, like, a whole week of nothing. So, you know... Well, I don't know, my, my brother broke his arm the other day. He, he's fine, it was just, it added a little bit of un unexpected excitement. I, I don't know if that's the right word, but, you know, it was kind of hectic that day, too. Uh, that was the day before yesterday. Alright, there we go. And then, yeah, just go down here, um, pretty much, you know, that's it. I don't know. Not much else to talk about to scourge the mucus here. The mucus. The snot. It's, a, it, it's it's ectoplasm, but it looks like snot. It's like someone like took a huge sneeze. Oh, and more snails, more snails. You gonna snail at me? Whoa, yeah, see, they start coming right for you. It's kind of scary. Because you don't expect them to. But they do. Alright, and I don't think they can get out of their cages like the fire crabs, so we shouldn't have to worry about it. They're gonna try, but I don't think they can. Okay, there we go. Oh, and a save point. That's probably where I'm going to stop it because we're kind of running low on time. All right. Um, another wizard card. Cool. We're almost at three scars. I can't wait till we have three scars. Oh, a gnome. Nah, we gnomes. All right, come here. Let's throw you in here. And I was so angry at myself the other day because um, you know how I, I have a practice file for Final Fantasy 13. Well, I went to my platinum save file where I'm trying to get 100% trophies, and stupidly I overwrote my practice file, so I can't really finish that. I'm just, I don't need it. I mean, I've done like 10 playthroughs of the game, but still, it's like ah, I, I hate it when I overwrite files and stuff. I did that in this game, like way back when I first played it. I remember and I was at the end of the game, and I, and I accidentally pressed uh, new game instead of load game. Oh, we got a key. And when you press new game instead of load game, as soon as you start, it saves over it right away, which is really annoying, so I couldn't go back. Um, and, you know, this game takes a... I mean, it's not necessarily, m like, terribly difficult, but it still takes time to play through the game, so you're annoyed when you have to, you know, go through all that again. But, you know, oh well. Anyway, in the next part, we'll continue on here. I just saved, so... Um, yeah, if you like this part, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody. You are all awesome.